Hello guys, hopefully you are doing well. Harry here and uh, I'm happy to announce that this is my first quant video, right? So basically today we're gonna do a uh, quant an analysis, right? So uh, uh, this is gonna be a short video, right? So it's gonna be like a 15 to 20 minute short video where I'm only gonna tell you how to um, uh, how to check uh, the economical, you know, like the, how to check the economical performance of uh, your investment. Uh, let's say uh, we are doing a back testing. We are not uh, doing any predictions, right? So we are only doing the back testing, and we are we gonna pick one of the economy of the. Uh, I'm like one of the economy uh of the country right so uh then we're gonna do our back testing over there right and uh well let me introduce myself first right so uh myself i'm Hemant, right so i'm currently located in glasgow and uh, uh basically i used to uh i used to be a day trader and i was trading for like more probably more than three years right so um well right now i stopped trading so i am focusing more into building algorithm and algorithm trading right so i do the virtual trading where i built my own model and i uh, do virtual testing over there does my model work or not so um it's been a long journey and it's been a long story that how i started a trading right so i started my trading when i was in university uh well most probably you know like on university i used to do trading uh just to pay my bills and uh, suddenly it's become hobby start reading more books on that and i start you know like uh, uh, start investing my money over there then i found out how market work so then i come to know about the stock market then i came to know about the uh, index market right and i uh, came to know about the bond market then i came to know about uh, the option trading uh contact for different cfd trading rights and uh, then later on i also tried crypto trading so basically i don't do crypto anymore because uh, uh, I do realize crypto is only for the transactional mean for investment purpose. I would not suggest or I won't give any recommendations on crypto. Well, on the stock market, I'm really interested in the stock market, not because of uh, 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 because of the company pres prestige, but because of those uh, companies who provide jobs to people and they also generate cash flow over there and they also generate revenue. They have an income statement. They have a balance sheet, right? And uh, uh, of course, you can do your, your uh, fundamental analysis with the help of those income statement, cash flow and the balance sheet. And also you have a live chart going on where you can track all the record every day um, of your performance. Uh, uh, I'm like of a portfolio uh, using technical analysis, right? Technical indicator. Uh, normally people say is right. So uh, today what we're going to do is basically we're going to make a, a code. So this code will take uh, uh, one of the index. So basically I'm... Uh, uh, I'm focusing into the index fund because uh, uh, most probably when you ask my friend anybody uh, I'm more interested into the index fund and uh, uh, like uh, in blue chip that that's my favorite right on blue chip so uh, basically I see the uh, I see exponential growth in the most of the tech companies right so and uh, uh, for that, for that reason, because of the exponential growth, I'm making this video. I really want to show you guys how the exponential growth can provide the value to your portfolio. So, you know, like th those exponential growth doesn't come uh, overnight. Uh, it probably take uh, like five years, right? Sometimes 10 years, sometimes 20 years to uh, reach that height. So most probably I will suggest 20 years. So uh, uh, last time I was working with the Demola Group project, right? So with my pal and we end up building an algorithm, which basically uh, is basically also helping you to track your portfolio's performance. So one of the thing um, uh, I'm like, uh, I figure out during my uh, research that uh, uh, if you have invested certain amount of money into S&P 500 or those blue chip top tech company top 10 tech companies uh, right now right you would have end up become a millionaire side right? basically we're gonna figure out because we're gonna check for ourselves right we're gonna make that algorithm so we can check how much was the return right from that company so basically I will make first a video on the index fund S&P 500 and second video on those uh, 5 to 10 companies how much return they can uh, bring to us right so I'm gonna 
take minimum to minimum portfolio right so a normal human being kind of offered right uh right not like a uh, rich people right so basically we are not going to invest 1 million right we're going to invest like a thousand pound two thousand pound 20 year back and we're going to see how that ten thousand pound or maybe one thousand pound look like in this uh 2023 right guys so let's start coding right right guys so basically we need this three library right we need pandas we need matplotlib and it we need y finance site so basically on pandas um, uh, we need a data frame just to manipulate all those data site and we need matplot for visualizations right and we need y finance to collect all those data from api of yahoo finance right so um, uh, basically y finance stand for yahoo finance site and uh, uh, I'm using Y Finance because it is free, right? First of all, and secondly, we are looking for 20 year old data side. We're not looking for the uh, uh, the current data. Uh, and uh, thirdly, it is free, right? It, it is free and it is easy to accessible, right? You can use other API, you can use other paid API, it's on you, right? So uh, basically, I'm gonna stick with the Y Finance because it is free and I'm gonna, uh, 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 I'm like, I'm gonna mine at least 20 year old data and it's easily accessible, right? So guys, basically I'm gonna define and uh, define a function over here, right? So I will say like def, right? Calculate, uh, then I will say profit, right? So basically I need to have a three parameter. The uh, three parameter will be investment, initial price and the future price, right? So I will say investment, right? So after investment, I will have initial price. Uh, then I will have a future price right so basically after that so uh, we need to understand that we have initial value uh, initial value will be the will be our value of our portfolio right uh, let me double check my spelling should be fine yeah initial value equal to investment uh, divided by initial price right so our overall investment divided by initial price which will give us initial value that will be total number of shares right so if i say um, future value uh, let's say future value future value will be defined as uh, initial value right initial value multiply by uh, future price right so now you can see over here initial value is basically total number of shares which is multiplied by the future price the future price will be the current value of the share side so profit so for the uh, profit to calculate profit we will define a profit profit is our basically uh, our variables which will store difference between the future price uh, so sorry future value future value minus uh, investment so I uh, generally if you see over here right so uh, future value of a portfolio minus by investment how much you invested that will give you the profit right so simple I will say return and uh, okay so look at some some uh, mistake over here right so that is basically value right so I will say return profit okay so i'm gonna run this so now we have declared a function over here right so we're gonna declare one more function right for plotting our graph uh, basically you can't do this without uh, declaring the function you can do directly right but you know like i would like to plot the graph uh, uh, while defining the function because if you're making this habit it will be really really convenient for you uh, imagine like uh, uh, you have to do um economical performance check with the back testing right especially using your portfolio let's say 100,000 pound into S&P 500 and similarly you have to do into FTSE 100 or maybe in an Indian market nifty or you have to go into the uh, uh, Japan market right so or, or Germany right so basically you can just uh, use I'm like you can reuse those functions right so that's the reason I uh, like to code in a function especially when I even plotting a graph right so let's make it clear right so Right guys, so let's start, right? So let's say def. So I'm gonna define a function. I will define function profit uh, over time. Right guys, so we're gonna have a two parameter that will be dates and uh, profit. Right, so I don't like to make any technical, right? So I will make it as easy as possible. I'm not gonna say like, okay, X and Y, you know, like, and there's a lot of terms. No, I'm gonna make it more simple as possible because simplicity 
um, help us to understand more clearly and more effectively, right? So I will say plt dot style. So basically, this line of code will help us to uh, change the color of our background. Uh, basically, uh, it's gonna be uh, a white or a black, right? So I'm gonna use a black. So I'm gonna use a dark one. So I will say dark uh, background, right? So dark background. Yeah, that should be fine. And I was like plt dot figure. So this one will uh, determine the size of our graph. Okay, so how big will be our graph? So I will say fix size, uh, then 15 and six, okay. So plt dot plot. So that will be our basically uh, x and the y axis. So plt dot plot mean, uh, uh, PLT of course stand for your uh, matplotlib right and the plot basically plot now is gonna plot a line basically when you say plot that plot a line when you say scatter inside of this that plot a scatter line when you say bar plot that give us a bar plot right so so basically these are different different kind of plots so right now we are using PLOT which stand for the line plot right so I will say date uh, date is for x-axis right and our y axis is profit, right? So profits, there we go. And uh, I'm gonna use a line width. So basically line width mean the size of the uh, line I'm using uh, while plotting the graph. So I will give it two, right? And the color, I want the color of the plot that will be, um, let's say gold, right? That will be very, very, you know, like cool. When there's a black background and the the golden line over there that will look class in it so let's say plt dot x label uh x label so basically we're gonna label the x so we're gonna say date in x axis right and we're gonna say a font size so font size is the uh, see the date when it will be uh, written on the x axis of the graph the font size will depend how big the uh, that date uh, uh, I'm like the font of those uh, date should be uh, shown over there right so basically our our choice is 18 right so I will say Y label now so for the Y label we know the Y basically stand for the profit right so profit will be in our currency so I don't want to type any currency if you are using a, a SMP 500 that will be dollar if you are using FTSC uh, 100 that will of course in a pound if you're using uh, other different index from different country that will be that specifically uh, determine those country currency right so let's move on right so let's not waste your time let's say font size uh, equal to 18 right and uh, let's say plt dot title which basically uh, tell you uh, what should be the title of your graph I will say um, profit over time time right so let's make it a bit nice right so I'll use a T capital right I will use O capital and I will use P capital right now uh, so now the next is uh, grid I like a grid line so grid line is basically uh, the line inside our graph so i will show you what is the grid line after plotting the graph later on right so i will just need to write this code grid line so line style uh line style equal to basically i will say dash dash line right so i will say color equal to white right and uh, alpha alpha basically mean uh um what you call that uh, Alpha basically mean like uh, you want to uh, know the density of those uh, color, right? So if I uh, decrease the value of the alpha, the color will look more fade. Uh, if I increase the uh, alpha, right, to one, the color will be sharp. So I will put 0 0.7, I'll give vivid fade for those uh, uh, line style grid, right? So basically now I'm gonna define plt dot uh, x tick. So I will rotate those text right? So basically all those label, especially the date, let's say 2010, 2020, 2000, um, I mean like 2002, 2003, 2004, all will be on a 45 degree angle, right? So 
let's say plt uh, uh plt dot show right i will say plt dot close right just to close at the end of those graph there we go right so now we have defined two functions one is the calculate pro profit and second is the plot profit over time okay right guys so i'm gonna call the y finance now right so basically i'm gonna call that api right so i'm gonna use a ticker which basically will be gspc uh which stand for smp 500 right so guys uh the most important thing over here please don't forget to switch on your internet right without internet uh, it, it cannot connect to the api and it won't be able to download the, uh, those data right so i will make it easy for you guys to understand let's say ticker right uh, I don't want to make it complicated, right? I don't want you guys to, uh, uh, you know, like to go through all those documentation, uh, even after watching this video. I want this video to be make sure that it provides you all the valuable information, right? So now we're going to declare a stock. So stock will be YF, right? YF dot. So YF basically stand for the Y finance you've seen over here, YF, right? So YF dot uh, ticker. Right. If you are, if you do object oriented programming, you know that uh, stock equal to YF. So YF stand for those uh, um, those class and dot ticker. Right. Basically, is calling inside the uh, those function inside the class. Right. So then we will uh, basically we don't need to add those parentheses. Basically, we don't need to add those parentheses. Right. So I will say. Uh, basically we don't need to add this right so instead of code we'll remove the code because we already declared ticker uh, in the upper block so i will say ticker right so i'm gonna call this so now i'm gonna show you so it has uh, it has actually called those class from the api now you can see over here y finance dot ticker object right so there you go so that's stock is our object right and uh, uh, basically we're storing all those data into this object right so now i'm gonna call uh those function inside the uh, function inside those object right so basically says stock dot history that is our another function inside our class so period uh equal to 20 year right so let me run this uh, it will take time because it's 20 year data right so it's gonna be quite heavy so i'm gonna check the matrices right so dot shape and you can see over here so there is uh, 50 36 right and 7 right so i will say stock dot tail right so you can see the tail over here right guys similarly we're gonna do the head right so on head you can see over here uh basically on that 20 years we have a top five data uh i'm like basically top five row and column side right guys so now let's move on so basically next thing we need to do is to check the describe right so let's say stock dot describe so what basically describe uh, uh provide you is those count right those count those mean uh mean values right those standard deviations and uh, uh minimum and maximum and there's a quartile over here right so uh, uh let's move on right so let's see what we can do next right so basically uh next we have to declare our dates right because you remember the dates is an argument so basically those argument is for over here dates right and uh, dates will be basically history right so uh, we don't have a history in it so we say stroke dot index right so let's say let's check the dates now right so should be fine yeah that's that's absolutely fine right so basically you can see over here the top 10 and those are the dates right so let's say price is equal to stock right stock goes close and uh, i'm gonna check prices dot shape in case oops there's a spelling error shape in case right so now you can see here 5036 i'm gonna validate this answer so 5036 that's the one right 
so we have now two uh two variables right so basically dates which are specifically 20 year dates and the price is basically for 20 year price right so uh, also with the date i would like to check the end uh, uh check the shapes right 5036 right so both are matching now x and y axis right okay guys so now it's time to plot the graph right so basically what i want to do i'm going to choose an easy way right just to show you guys right so price right that plot and uh, uh we'll say line width right line width equal to two and uh, we'll say color equal to gold right so i'm gonna run this so it's quite heavy because it's 20 year chart right so now you can see over here that's how the 20 year chart look like right so basically uh i really want to change the color of those chart if i say plt style dot use i will say dark um uh, sorry oh, back ground right so hopefully it should work right guys so there we go that's how this look like right so uh, you can see over here those are the price and those are the date right so i don't want to waste your time right so let's move on right so let's move on okay so i will uh make an investment right i will say total right total investment right so let's say total investment uh, we have invested in the u.s market is about uh, uh uh ten thousand dollar okay so ten thousand dollar i don't know how it's uh, gonna be on 20 year but i really want to know how it's look like right so let's say initial share uh initial share price right initial share price equal to i will say price right so price dot i look so i'm using the integer location side i'll use zero right then i will say future right future and uh, i will say share future share price uh future share price uh, equal to i will say price right so basically that will give uh, me uh, future share price you can see over here right those are the future share price so guys now i'm going to declare an empty list right so basically profit right so profit will be our empty uh list right so then i'm going to use a for loop right for uh for price in future so price in future share price right and i will say uh profit right so profit equal to uh calculate profit which basically you remember those are the functions uh we have declared above so calculate profit right so then calculate profit then we're gonna add total investment right so total investment basically this is our total investment variable right ten thousand uh pound sorry ten thousand dollar because we're in a u.s market and i will say initial uh initial uh share price so after initial share price we'll add uh, just normal price over here right so uh right so uh, basically after that we have to append that so i will say profit uh profit dot append right so profit dot append dot uh, profit that is our uh the empty list right over here so now i'm gonna uh store this right so look like something is wrong over here say the uh, number four has no append okay so that's interesting right so basically uh i think it's an overlap between two of them so if i can do this yeah probably see there was an overlap between those uh profit you know like um, and that's fine right so let's uh, let's just move on right so let's say final uh final profit final profit uh equal to profit and say negative one index right so basically uh, uh basically it will tell you the final one basically negative index mean the last value of those uh, uh, of those lists so i will show you how the profit look like at the moment right so i will say profits this is to be s right so you can see over here so profit dot shape right just in case i need to show you profit dot shape so 
oh, uh, sorry, not shape, uh, because now it's not in a uh, data frame, right? So basically it's in a normal list. So we have to use a Python function. So Python built-in function, so land, that's say 5036, right? So uh, 5036, so that's why uh, we are using uh, this negative index over there, right? So negative index represent the, the final value uh, basically 5036 is the index number, let's say, and it, it have certain values. So that will be uh, the final profit value, right? So there we go. So next we have final amount. Uh, final amount will be the total amount, right? So we had made. So I will say total investment, right? Plus uh, final profit, which is the basically our top final profit, right? So I will say percentage, uh, mm, percentage change, right? So I will store that with the help of a tuple, right? So I will segregate them. So final uh, profit, final profit divide by total investment right and i will say into 100 right that should be fine so oh this is some spelling mistake percentage right so i need to be very specific and i love to be a specific so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna call a uh, plot right plot the profit over time then i'm gonna give dates remember the dates at the top and the uh, profit right um just need to be s right so let me show you where the date is so basically our date stand for this one uh right this variable date where we have stored the all the date from the index right so and uh, the profit you know the, those are uh, basically using for loops we have uh, uh capture all the profits of profits over there so i'm gonna call this function right uh right guys so it's automatically has generated the graph right so now you can see over here so this is our the point of investment right so basically this is only a profit charge so there there's no investment so basically uh, this need to be investment plus profit will give us a total total amount right so you can see over here in 2009 there was a dip over here which is due to the financial crisis in usa then you can see over here on this area this is the pandemic right uh, uh i'm like COVID and basically you know the pandemic was still on this uh, over here there's a dip over here then it suddenly 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 is rising up uh, because everybody was staying in a home so um, I mean like a uh, lot of the consumer companies right especially uh, they are selling everything online right so a uh, lot of startup has been done on this area right so after that, you can see over here, there's a, again a dip. So because uh, we are in inflation at the moment, we're in a great recession, right? Because of that. So hopefully things go well. So next, uh, we need to check uh, how much is our total investment, right? So total investment is our 10,000, right? If I say final profit, you remember the final profit? So our final profit is this. So 35,578, uh, that is our final profit. And our, our final amount, right? So our final amount will be forty-five thousand for five hundred seventy-eight dollar. Then uh, the percentage will be percentage change will be our uh, nearly three hundred and fifty-five percent return, right? From uh, S and P five hundred. So uh, hopefully you guys fi find out this analysis very very nice and uh, clean and clear. To understand how the portfolio has been performed uh, right so you can see over here 45,578 so basically that uh, pick uh, doesn't touch over there so because if you sum up this two of them let's say investment plus final profit that will give you 45,578 so basically 35,578 is this chart you can see over here 35,578 right uh, yeah 
hey guys hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and uh, i will provide all these files uh, on the link uh, uh, below the description side you can download this file from github and uh, uh, basically if you want uh, to ask me any questions if you have any problem just uh, feel free to contact me on linkedin right or you can put uh, anything into the comment section right guys so i will see you on next video right so uh, you have a nice day right cheers and peace